Yes, sir, baby on the radar. Yo, joining me today, the one, the only, the top chef himself, Little Got It, is here with me. What up, bro? What's going on, my brother? Yo, man, congratulations on this album. You have been nonstop working since you and I, because you were one of the last people. It was you, Fredo Bang, and Young Maul were the last people I recorded anything with in person before the pandemic started. And since then, you you have not stopped. Superstar Creature, Hood Baby 2, and now this, Top Chef got it out now. First and foremost, what I like to do since we haven't seen each other in a year, how have you been, bro? How has this past year of all this craziness and, and madness, how have you been during this time? Um... I've been mean, good at keeping a level mind. Just still doing the same shit I've been doing, just different way. You working? Know? Yeah, yeah, working, of course. Have you been in Atlanta this whole time or or you've been moving around a little bit? Oh, uh, I've been back for Atlanta and LA. Okay, okay, because I know Atlanta wide open. I know months ago the pandemic was over out there. No, uh, it really didn't even feel like them pandemic could everybody <laughs> was still outside. Oh, so congratulations on this new project. Top Chef got it out now with this project. Because you know what? It, it's been a while since you dropped um, Hood Baby uh, 2. With with this record, what did you kind of want to, you know, come into the game with this year and, and, and yes. kind of having this be your first project of 2021, the summertime, you dropped it at the perfect time. What did you kind of really want to, you know, make a statement with this time around? Um, That's a better sound and that's a newer me. And like a little more turned up. Like, Cause I feel like compared to your past projects, this project like it sounds it sounds different. It sounds more mature. It sounds like you know you got a new type of sound, a new type of energy. Do you feel that way when when you were going into this into this record? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you feel like was like the big part of like your energy change and kind of coming a little bit different this time around? Um. It probably my back. Just I got a different back now. So I be like I don't record like I used to every day. I don't record like that, like I used to every day. But like when I record, I I make every song I record be hard hard as hell because I don't like burn up. I, I really like I really deal like just probably record every month. I record every month. I don't record every day. I record every month. I okay. gotta do something. I do something the whole that whole month. Then I record the next month. Oh, so you used to be in the studio like every single day, but now you space things out a little bit more to I to create a different vibe. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel like it's better for you, like with your met with your mental health and kind of doing it that way? Do you feel like now you have yeah, more time that's to do how I can other rap things? Sober, like that's the only way I can rap sober. You feel me? That I can do it sober and like I don't gotta be on drugs to, to rap no more. Right, because I saw you retweeted. Um, this girl she made a TikTok about you it was super dope. Uh, about how you quit drinking, how you quit drugs, all that. When did you when did you quit? Well, it had to have been recently during the pandemic, right? Or nah. was it longer ago? Yeah, yeah, it was like kind of like early last year. What what was like the big reason for you to kind of go sober? Like, what was the, kind of like the big yeah. motivation for you? I was like, this shit was getting boring, like, and it was just mess it was messing with my health for a little bit, so I just stopped doing the shit. Right, and and, I'm, and even now with your music, you know, do you think that now that it's like it you to you? Is it easier to do music? Is it easier to do certain things? Is it, you know, yeah, does it yeah, feel it, better it, it now? Yeah, it's easy, like, yeah, it feels it easy, but I just can't, like, record, like, long, like. Long I can time. Make, I can make, like, long time, like, I used to, like, I just can't get down. You feel me? I just space it out. I just got down, record it. I record every time I get in that mood, I record. But just record, just record all this stuff. I can't do that. I got to, I'm so, I got to move around. I got to look my, I can't just sit in the like I used to. Of course. And how is like, you know, now with your, with, you know, because I know mental health is such an important conversation that we have nowadays. How is like your mental health now with dealing with COVID, with, you know, being sober, you know? See, I got anxiety. Music? So I got anxiety. So it'll hit every now and then, like my anxiety. It was, I have my anxiety until like every now and then, but it ain't like, you feel me? Like, it ain't like I just got down. My levels, I know how to control them. So I'm just being like stronger. My mom trying to learn how to control it so it won't like bother me as much. It like certain shit make my anxiety go off like bad. I got anxiety real bad. What do you feel like are like the things that kind of help you? Because I also I also suffer from anxiety, like, like, so I have like my own ways of battling. But I'm curious to, to find out what your ways are. I just got you no. Know, I might um get fresh air, like find something to do, like just not think about it, like 
mm. probably get fresher if I find something to do. I probably gonna, like take like take a cold shower or just something like just got them get my mind off some shit. Cause I got a real my mind. I think about a lot of shit, so my mind like an easy trigger off and that like. But I just do like I probably just go for a ride or some shit like that. Just got go do something. Just not think about it. Mm, right. Do you, I? I also like I. What I do is like I'll like um I'll listen to like the like the like the lo-fi hip hop or some other shit like that on YouTube just like to listen to some calm shit because you know what I'm saying like everything can be so hectic sometimes your mind can just kind of just go at a million yeah. miles a minute and you don't really know what to do with it. Yeah, like you don't know you and it's the shit start looking really here like. Shit be feeling really here, like you know, some other shit. I'm like, oh damn, I, I got that chill. Does the music, like, does recording help with that, or is like, do you feel like you the the music nah, I make gets a, you a little if anxious? Now I'm day when I know I got a hard song, my anxiety kick in. If I listen to a song and it's too hard, my anxiety kick. I'm like, yeah, this hard. <laughs> this song hard. Cause it make, if it don't make my anxiety kick, like it's straight. But if my anxiety going, like, I know the song hard as a motherfucker. I can't. And like, why my anxiety going off and as I just got after I listen to the song, cause I know it hard to hear. I ain't so gonna the, record after my anxiety, after I make a hard ass song and my anxiety go off, I just got them. I don't make no more song. So you, just, you're like, you know, that's the hard record. So if your anxiety goes off, you're like, okay, this is the record, and now I'm done for yeah, this. Yeah, this, yeah, this the record. Cause certain song make my anxiety go off, and every song I make, like I might make a song and my anxiety go off. Oh yeah, this is the one. Wow, I see. I've, I've never heard of that, but I mean, like at least you have, you know that, and like you're like, ah, right, cool, like. I recorded. I'm done for the day. I'm good now. My anxiety's kicking in. Let me go chill. Let me go relax. Let me go get some air. Yeah, go Let chill. Go find something to do. Go get some air. Find something to do. Take a ride. I got in the park. Go to the house. Play the game. Like just chill. No, I love that. And you know, with this project, what what is super dope is I know Gunna executive produced it. What was the yeah. decision there to kind of? Because obviously, you guys have worked a lot in the past, of course. What was the decision there to have a uh, to have Gunna be the the EP on it? You good? He know my he know my he know my sound like I know my sound. You feel me? He know how I want my shit. Like he know how he listen to me. He know like, yeah, like he want he want me to be why he want me to be up there just like him. He want me up there just like him. So he like I'm just gonna I'm got them Zeke produce do, like the Zeke produce this motherfucker. And I'm just gonna tell you which one the ones and which one not the one. Like he ain't gonna hold it on. He gonna do nothing. He gonna let me know. Like it hard. Nah, this ain't it right here, Slime. It hard, but it ain't it cool, but it ain't you don't need to go on that. He'll let me know. You feel me? Right. So as an executive producer, his role was like to to, to help pick the records and what else did he do? Um, like he sent up like he sent up listen like we listen to more folks like mm. we had conversations on the phone all the time like we we did like a lot of shit like with the album new album took a long ass time to come out because it was a lot of shit behind the album nobody don't even know. They also had my anxiety going because it was a lot of shit was going on with the album, bro. Nobody don't know. What was kind of going on with it that kind of made it take a little bit longer? If, if, if you're, you know, what I'm saying with that, what, what do you think? What do you feel like made it take a little bit longer to come out than you know how it normally would? Shit, the folks that don't know, everybody know. <laughs> like, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. All right, we'll know leave it at know. we'll leave it at that. But something that I really, you know, some of my favorite records on this project are the are the are the records you have with Nav. Like I feel like yeah, Nav, two... Nav, 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 Nav one once. I, I feel like, Nav. I feel like when y'all two get together, like it, it's magic. Like those were some of my favorite joints on the project. When when it came to picking people, when it came to kind of you know figuring out you know what what folks you want to have on the joint with you, how did you kind of go about picking the people to to be on the album? I like first I sent cash, you know, you know cash. It's so mm. I sent cash burnt and turn. Nah, not burnt. I sent him collages. I saw on now on them motherfucker. Hell, I know now walk on them motherfucker. He put now on. He said, "Hey, what's up with that burnt? Cause I had been made burnt and turn last year, mm. but I ain't know. I just had one verse. You won't believe I ain't had no verse on there. I just had the hook." We we would listen to the hook. Everybody, Cash, Gunner, Thor, everybody, all of we did listen to the hook. Weezy, all of we just we riding in the car, just playing the hook. One, well, them phone ain't got no verses on it. We just these days listen to the hook. So I got down, Cash like, hey, I'm putting nav on that. He's like, I'm putting nav on that. I said, come on with me, but they were after collide. He said, I want to put nav. I want nav to get on that right now. And now Ben has said, yo, I want I want to get on that right here. So boom. Now down in my I did my verse to it. And we just got down put that one for that. 
We shot a video to him. Pick it up. I love that. So what does this Top Chef era entail for you? You know what I'm saying? Why are you the Top Chef? What do you plan on doing with this new era in your music? Because I feel like if you, the one thing that I feel like you do really well is like these different eras. You know what I'm saying? Because like even from Superstar Creature, even from Superstar Creature, like when I went to that party, that was the last function I went to before the pandemic. And everything there was branded so dope. Everything there was like very like on brand. It, it felt like a new era in your career and in your music. So with the Top Chef era, what do you feel like you want to do and, 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 and take the music in this in, in this new era for you? It's just probably like, it, it's like a little wave. It ain't even no era. It's just like a little wave. I'm going to be okay. on that wave soon. I'm going to be on a whole nother wave soon. I ain't even just, it's just like how I be feeling around that time. I'm top chef. Got it, bro. But Why are you the top chef? <laughs> huh? Why are you the top chef? I'm selling the best thing. I got the best thing smoking over here. <laughs> like my like my my shit the best entree type shit. Right. I cook the best entree out of everybody. I cook the best entree. I peeped. Shit. You got like a little cookbook to go along with the project. I've been seeing people posting it. What is in this cookbook? What are we chefing? Oh, there like little recipes, like little recipes and shit. You know, sit. You can go cook. You use and cook at home, and you try it out yourself if you like it or not. Well, what we got in it? Tell me so. I don't have the book on me, so that's why I'm asking you. What are some of the recipes? What you be chefing up? I, I ain't, I ain't got my book yet. Come in LA. All my stuff. I ain't got all my stuff. So I know where I got lamb chops. We got fried chicken. They got all types of stuff. But I ain't got my my book yet. Cause I ain't, I ain't been to the house. I'm in LA right now. But you be cooking though, right? Um. Hey, yeah. All right. So get this. So you got a. So you got a girl come over to dinner. You cooking for her? What are you cooking? Yeah. What are you be cooking. Oh, baked chicken, beans, okay. macaroni, rice, biscuits, all uh, tough shit, man. That's a yeah. that's a that's a that's a yeah. nice ass meal too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> plan, huh? And with this record, yeah, I saw here. I saw you I posted. Uh, you was asking if they want if if the if the people out there want a tour. Are we going on tour for this project? You know what I'm saying? Now that the yeah, outside world sure. is opening back I'm up, I'm going tour at the Rolling Loud. I do Rolling Loud Miami. Then I'm going on tour. Are you excited to go back to Rolling Loud? Are you excited to be back at the festivals yeah, yeah. and all that? Yeah, hey, yeah. Uh, I took a minute off. I'm gonna be, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep treating shit like I've been training shit. And just a little better. I'm just gonna be a little better though. What do you mean a little bit better? Like every every year is just like a new level. Are you doing this? I'm still growing to the person I wanna be. So, you no, know, every year shit get better and better every year. A thousand percent. So what what is your set list looking like for these festivals now? Because you got a lot of music now since the last time that we really got to do this. You got three projects. Um, you got a lot of hits. What are what do you feel like your set list about to look like now? Because I obviously I'm sure it's like what maybe like I'm a half it, hour, I'm 40 minutes set. I'm gonna put it together. I'm gonna make sure you have a hard, hard set time and set like the list, the playlist gonna be hard. I'm gonna make sure the playlist gonna be hard. It's gonna be from old to new. So, and also, I saw you tweeted this out, uh, I believe, a few days ago. And it, and you said, uh, if I make a song by how by how I'm feeling, I'm putting all on the table, putting it all on the table. You might fall off with some of the bros and some of these hoes. Has that ever, has that ever been something that you've experienced before already? Or, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, are you yeah. kind of, like, timid yeah, yeah. to kind of, like, go into into that territory of kind of really putting certain things out into the I don't want to, because I know, I know how, how deep I can go into, into making a song like that. <laughs> And how much hard is how hard it's gonna be if I do make a song like that and how right it gonna fuck up a lot of shit. So that's why I don't mean sometimes I just hold shit in to be honest. I was about to say, do you ever hold back on some of the records and, and, and you know kind of they, speaking yeah, on some shit, things? Like, sometimes I only wanna I don't even wanna got them I probably did think like I'm doing too much, bro. But I'm really not doing too much. You feel me? I'm just really telling how I feel. Like any any other person would. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like, I don't know, do you feel like sometimes people take those things out of context or, you know, maybe you might say something. Okay, now, what they you won't believe, but you won't believe this. I don't even care what they think. I believe you. I know I, I, I know you don't care what they think. I was just asking. <laughs> you won't believe it. I don't care how they feel. But I ain't going to care. And I believe love it. it. And, you know, on, on this project, I also saw, um, I had peeped that, Metro Boomin posted that, you know, he did the production for Grim Reaper and you obviously are, are, are in good company on this project. When it comes to the producers too, working with, with, with certain people, how do you kind of pick and choose who you want to work with production wise? You know what I'm saying? Are you, are you picky with that? Like, uh, how I, 
feel like I feel like what wave I think I need to go. Like what what I feel like which way I need to go on the album. Like, I, I need to go got them. Metro, I need to go got them. I know certain dudes, I need I know certain producers I want on each album. I, anything I do, I know what certain producer I want to use. I just go back, I might put around listening to everything they ever did. And just pick like I need to do shit. I need to go their way. I need to go that way. That's why my music don't never sound the same. Like, I go different ways on each song. Each song will have a different way. I go voices and everything. I'm not gonna sound the same. Nah, for real. I feel, I definitely feel so. You'll like go back to like their old catalog, and you'll be like, oh yeah. Like, I play like I listen to old shit. Like bro, I want, I want my shit sound. Yeah, bro. I want it type. It way, bro. This shit be hard. And you know, I know how. And and you know, I know how close you are with with Thug. And and what I wanted to ask you this is, what was the best piece of advice that Thug or Gunner? Because I know Gun obviously we're gonna be some. Uh, this is any any but like if I just like the main key, but I just say you got your money. Mm. So now I'll be sometimes I'll be doing something I don't be doing because I like spending money. <laughs> uh, but it's still to... like, but it's real, but it's something that, for real, for it's something that everybody got to do though, for real. Mm-hmm. I'm learning it. You feel me? I'm now learning it because I'm grown now. I'm grown to a man now, so I could do something you got to do. You got to save money. I'm, I'm still learning that though. Do you have any ventures outside of music that you're beginning to work on, like investing, you know? I want to get. Like, I want to invest in like a. I want to invest in like a food truck and put it in Atlanta. Hey, you know Atlanta at nighttime, a lot of restaurants be closed. On them be open, but they have Waffle House and they got them. You feel me? Certain shit. So I want to invest in a food truck and they had them up in the middle of the city. Everybody goes to them up for twenty four hours. The chef got a food it. truck. <laughs> now I'm coming with a hard name though. What well, what type of food would you be serving out of that truck? <laughs> huh. What type of Make what type of food would you would you be serving out of your food truck in Atlanta? What do you think you would have? I don't know. It really be like oh type of shit. Yeah, oh, type of shit. It gonna be some good shit. Trevor, it gonna be like some Atlanta, Atlanta shit. It gonna be some good like back in the day like nacho all type of shit. Oh type of shit. Man. Well, we got these festivals on the way. Right, I got- Okay, go ahead, guys. Say what you gonna say. Say what you gonna say. All right, chicken or all type of shit. Everything in the cookbook is gonna be in that food truck, possibly. I'm, 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 I'm gonna let my mom them, my grandma and auntie them. I'm gonna they have like cook for that motherfucker and put this selling on them. Man, real food. Well, I, I love this, and I love being able to see your growth over the past year, man. It, it, it's incredible to hear, see the growth in you and see the growth in, and hear the growth in the music. And I'm very excited to see you at these festivals. I think it's long overdue, and now that we back outside, and with this album out, it's it's only right that, that, that we're going to turn this up. So I'm very – thank you again for being here with me today. Before we go, what's next for you? What do you got coming up on the way besides the festival that the people got to be on the lookout for? Oh. Uh. The Turnch line. Wait, say that again. What is it? The Turnch line. The Turnch line. Yeah, the Turnch line. What is that? Is that is that the next project? What what is it? Yeah, I'm going. I ain't going deluxe. I'm going another project. No deluxe. We going right to right to the next album. I'm good. I got a lot of music I've been saving up, so I'm going right to the next project. When Turnch can the, when can people expect that project to to, to hit the streets? Around August, my like around my birthday. I'm okay. going. I'm trying. I'm trying to do it around my birthday. We ain't letting up this year. All right, so make sure <laughs> yeah, nah. y- y'all keep it locked because he already got another project in the stash. But until that next project come out, make sure y'all go stream. Top Chef got it out now. Little guy, uh, let the right people now. know where they can follow you at. Any last message you got for your fans? Now's the time to go ahead and uh, throw that in there. This little guy, you can follow me at little guy on Instagram. One little guy on Twitter. You follow my TikTok, Legato Fisher. Yeah, um, a lot of new shit coming, man. Videos on the way too. I'm dropping on um, Pleasure Now with Thor soon, soon around the corner. I'm dropping the video. I'm gonna work out video. Now I'm gonna go live to fit and then shit. We're just gonna, we're gonna work to the touch line to come out. Hey, well, this is all very exciting. Like I said, man, congratulations on all the success. It's it's amazing again to see to see the growth in the music and in you. And I'm very excited to see you at these festivals. Um, until next time, make sure y'all go stream. Top Chef got it out now. Go follow him. It's a little got it on the radar, baby. Appreciate you, bro. Slick.